Being disabled in many African societies is often synonymous to begging. Most of the beggars you find around most cities and towns on the continent are usually disabled. But then some persons living with disability are daring to be different and unique. Our correspondent Oni Adekunle has the story of a very young man who, though disabled, has very lofty dreams, including making it to the Paralympics to compete for the country. It's around 7 a.m. and Peter is getting ready for the day's routine. For some time now, this has been a temporary home for him and some of his friends who are disabled as well. Before long, he heads to the mini stadium around the area to warm up on his wheelchair. Done with the warm-up, he heads to this makeshift gym where he teams up with friends to lift weights. This has been Olga's daily routine for quite some time now. And he's not doing all this for just the fun of it. He's doing this to achieve a lifelong dream, make it to the Paralympics someday soon. I believe that with consistent training and determination, eh, one day, I will go to Paralympic. That is what I believe. But there is more about Oga than his passion and aspiration for powerlifting. His life has been about struggles and triumphs. Born into a typically polygamous and rural family, he lost the use of his legs at the tender age of three following complications from an injection he was given. His condition meant he never started school until he was about 10 and managed to complete his primary and secondary education before things got tougher. I wanted to commit suicide. Why? Because I thought I can't do this, I can't do that. And uh, since nobody cared about me, it was the essence of existing. But to God be the glory, a war, I saw this uh, Nick Vujicic picture, picture. I thought that he doesn't have two arms and two legs, but he's doing amazing things. I said, ah! This one, no get high, no get leg. And it's really amazing. Me, I even have the two hands, eh? and even with legs, eh? just that the leg is not working effectively the way it's supposed to be, you understand? So I said, no, I can do great that is. Indeed, Oga is doing things for himself despite his disability. He's currently studying for a degree in the university. He's also an author, singer, and composer, and has a single to his name. You have passion and creativity. That's why I, I, I don't like begging. I, I want to make impact. I want to, you know, change people's life also. You understand? So begging cannot give me what I want. You understand? My dreams, begging, cannot give it to me. Olga has big dreams and is very much driven to make them become reality. And for people living with disability, this is what he has to tell them. You don't need to beg to become successful. Begging can't give you anything. And you know, you see, you see, when you are begging, remember your hand is always under. It's not on top. It's always under. And it, it makes you inferior. There is a potential in you. And that the only way that potential can be seen is when you try to work on it. I see beyond disability. I don't see myself as a disabled person. All I focus my attention is, is on how to make impact. It's that quest to make an impact that drives Olga and his friends to continue burning hours at this gym every day in order to make it to the Paralympics and win something for themselves and their countries. Only at Dekunle TV360.